Welcome to the series of Blender Tutorials. This tutorial is about the outline of window in Blender 2.59. This script has been contributed by Sneha Devrukkar and Bhanu Prakash and edited by Monisha Banerjee. After watching this tutorial, we shall learn what is the outline of window? What are the eye, arrow and camera icons in the outline of window? And what is the display menu in the outline of window? I assume that you know the basic elements of the Blender interface. If not, then please refer to our earlier tutorial, Basic Description of the Blender Interface. The Outliner is a flowchart list of data in Blender. By default, it is present at the top right corner of the Blender interface. Let us resize the Outliner window. Left click the bottom edge and drag it down. Left click the left edge and drag it to the left. We can see the options in the outline of window more clearly now. To learn how to resize the Blender windows, see our tutorial. How to change window types in Blender. Left click view. Here are various options like Show restriction columns. Show active. Show or hide one level. Show hierarchy. Duplicate area into new window. And toggle full screen. Deactivate show restriction columns. This hides all the viewable, selectable, and renderable options present at the far right corner of the outline of window. Again, left click view. Activate show restriction columns to unhide the viewable, selectable and renderable options. Left click the plus sign to the left of the cube in the outline of window. A cascade list appears. It shows you a list of the properties of the selected object. We will discuss these in detail in later tutorials. I makes your object visible or invisible in the 3D view. For example, left click I for cube. The cube is no longer visible in the 3D view. Again, left click I for cube. Now, the cube can be seen in the 3D view. Arrow makes your object selectable or unselectable in the 3D view. For example, left click arrow for cube. Right click the cube in the 3D view. The cube cannot be selected. Again, left click arrow for cube in the outline of window. Right click the cube in the 3D view. The cube can now be selected. Camera makes your object renderable or non renderable. Left click camera for cube. Press F12 on your keyboard to render the scene. The cube is not visible in the render. Press Escape on your keyboard to go back to the 3D view. Again, left click camera for cube in the outline of window. 
Press F12 to render the scene. The cube can now be seen in the render. Press Escape to go back to the 3D view. Left click the search bar in the outliner window. If your scene has multiple objects, then this search tool helps to filter out objects of similar groups or a particular object in the scene. Scene at the top left corner of the outliner window lists all the objects in your Blender scene and their associated elements. Left click all scenes. This drop down list is the display menu. It contains the display options for the outliner panel. Left click current scene. You can see all objects present in the current scene listed in the outliner window. Left click current scene to open the display menu. Left click visible layers. All objects present in the active layer or layers are listed in the outline of window. We will learn about layers in detail in later tutorials. Left click visible layers to open the display menu. Left click selected. The outliner lists only that object which is selected in the 3D view. Left click selected to open the display menu. Left click active. The outliner lists only that object which was most recently selected in the 3D view. Left click active to open the display menu. Left click same types. As the name suggests, the same type option lists all the objects that fall under the same category in the outline of window. For example, the cube is selected by default in the 3D view. So the outliner lists all the mesh objects in the scene. In this case, the cube is the only mesh object in the scene. We will learn about mesh objects in detail in more advanced tutorials about animation in Blender. Left click same types to open the display menu. Groups lists all the grouped objects in the scene. There are few other options here which we will cover in the later tutorials. So, this is the breakdown of the outline of window. While working with a large scene having multiple objects, the outline of window becomes a very useful tool in keeping track of each object in the scene. Now, create a new file. List selected in the outliner and make the cube unrenderable. This tutorial is created by Project Oscar and supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on the same is available at the following links oscar.iitb.ac.in and Spoken-tutorial.org slash NME ICT dash intro. Thanks for joining us. And this is Monisha from IIT Bombay signing off.